In looking at operation specifications, OPSPEC C70 is another great example of how the OPSPECs can differ for a carrier doing operations under flag, domestic, or supplemental. So if an air carrier is only a supplemental air carrier, they are not going to have OPSPEC C70. And as we talked about in a previous presentation, supplemental carriers are not considered to be scheduled operators. So if we look at this title of C70, we can see that it has to do with airports authorized for scheduled operations. So that would be why they only have to do with this OPSPEC for flag or domestic. And so let's take a look at what this OPSPEC actually talks about. This OPSPEC is going to list all the different airports that this airline can operate into and out of, and they are categorized in different ways. We can have the following types of airports. A regular airport, refueling airport, that one would be allowed to be only for refueling. No passengers or cargo are allowed to be put on or removed from the flight. Regular is just like it sounds like. It's just a normal operation for that airline. <clears throat> a provisional airport is an airport that the air carrier can use if the regular airport is not available. These are very rare. Uh, hardly ever see these. And then an alternate airport. So an airport may be considered to be used as an alternate airport only. So it may be listed in a flight release as an alternate airport, but it wouldn't be the airport where the airline was actually intending to end up for the flight. And we have a code that the airline uses. So here we can see some of these and we have the code still printed up here just for reference. <clears throat> we have regular for R, refueling is F, alternate is A and P for provisional. So these are all airports for scheduled operations for SkyWest Airlines. And like I had said, remember, this is a flag or domestic air carrier. And SkyWest, I believe, is operating under almost all domestic rules. So here are the airports. Um, you can notice that there are some airports on here that were not listed as a regular airport. Here's an example of one. We have Binghamton. If we look over here, we can only see that it's for refueling, alternate, and provisional. And this is for the Canada Air Regional Jet. Notice that Binghamton was not authorized at all when it came to the Embraer 120. So not only is this airplane specific and the type of operation, you can just see how specific this gets. Why the airline is going to care about it is if you are living in Longview, um, if you come out to East Texas Regional Airport, we sometimes get diverting flights from Dallas-Fort Worth. But I have never, ever seen a flight out on our terminal diverted to Longview from, Sky, from Southwest Airlines, from SkyWest Airlines, from Delta Airlines. It's because, most likely, Longview, East Texas Regional Airport, is not listed in any of these airlines' operation specifications. They're not listed in C-70. So, unless there is some emergency happening, the airline is not going to land at an airport that is not in its op spec C-70. Remember, for scheduled service is what we're talking about here. Now, let's talk for a minute about a supplemental air carrier. A supplemental air carrier is considered to be non-scheduled. Therefore, they don't have op spec C-70 at all. What they instead have is some sort of process by which they are going to evaluate airports and make sure they are suitable for their operation. Um, once they've ensued, ensured that an airport is a suitable airport for them to operate to, then they can operate there. And they don't have OPSPEC C70 at all. So depending on how you look at this for a supplemental air carrier, this can be either really freeing or really confining because number one, if you have a charter customer that wants to just go to an airport, you have to do an evaluation to make sure that you have everything you need to go to that airport, make sure that it has the right fire fighting capability, make sure that everything about that airport is okay, make sure that the airline has the charts available for its crew and the performance that the airplane needs. Um, but you also have the ability to not be bound by 
you are OPSPEC C70, like a flag or domestic air carrier would be. So, however, a flag or domestic air carrier is only going to provide the charts to its pilots for the instrument approaches for all these airports listed in C70. No requirement to have like the whole United States or even the whole world listed for all of its charts available for its pilots. So each one has pluses and minuses, just an example of how supplemental is different from domestic and flag operations.